Okay, Melissa here bringing you the recipes, tools, and fun you need to liven up your kitchen. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this recorded because the live is not working out right, right today. Um, we are doing taste buds, Mediterranean chicken. It's roasted chicken with fennel and potatoes. I have replaced the potatoes because they did not have fennel bulbs with, or not potatoes, I replaced the fennel bulbs with um, red onion. That is what you need. And those are the instructions. I have um, salted my chicken and I have it cooking on one side. And then I um, am getting ready to cut up the vegetables, which have been pre-washed. Uh, and I have my oven preheated at 400 actually because it tends to get a little bit hot. I'm kind of doubling. I don't use um, chicken thighs or bone-in chicken. I'm just not. I'm just picky about it. So I choose to use um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And now we are going to cut up our um, potatoes and onion so that it will be ready when it is time. So we have our, our taters. Really, it's a, it says to half them. I'm, some of these larger ones I'm going to um, quarter and just toss them to the bowl because we are going to be tossing them with some oil and Herbs de Providence seasoning. So, it's not as fun to do it not live because I have no one to talk to but myself. So, Oh, I did that different than I wanted to, but that's okay. There's really, like, no wrong way, to be honest with you. So, just cutting them and tossing them. Until one of the things I love about, um, around here is you can tell that you're getting something farm fresh, um, they're so like abnormal you know you buy them at the grocery store and they're like normally they're like all perfect and pretty my red potatoes are are a sight for sore eyes so but they are bound to be delicious so and then look at that itty bitty 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 one boop That bitty one needs a chance too. Okay. We love potatoes around here, so I wanted to make sure that we had enough bulk I'm just gonna flip this. The chicken is not um, meant to be fully cooked during this process, it's just getting brown. Okay. That's all that this process is intended to do is brown it a bit. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut my onion. Hold on. I don't know how to make a blooming onion, so I'm very sorry that I cannot do that for you. Um, but I'm really just going to go ahead and um, cut it so that I'm not like pulling it apart, you know. And if you were doing the fennel, you would be um, removing the top of the fennel saving some of the fronds for serving and cut into one inch wedges so I'm going to attempt to do like these little wedges and see what happens okay just trying to make it I 
think it's a little bit different with the onion because it doesn't quite stay together but that's all right that's all right it's all right it's all right, it's all right. Uh oh, my dog is going crazy in the background. Anyone is curious about the circus, they are here and they are alive and well. They have had no tablet time today, no screen time today, not, not even TV. And so now I have bribed them. No, I didn't bribe them, but I did give them their um, tablets while I do this so I guess you can call it a bribe I don't know but now I need to do um, because I'm doubling it, it's going to be two um, tablespoons and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because that's what I do and two tablespoons of herb de providence mm, it smells really good one, two, and then we're going to try and mix that up a bit. Mix that up a bit. I'm supposed to flap it around. I might not have enough room. I am a mess. A mess in an apron. I know what I can do. Mix it up when I toss it in here. Okay. So now, the chicken is just a little bit brown. We am going to take it on over here. Oopsie. Take it on over here. And then I gotta brown my veggie bowls a little bit. And I'm sorry, but I am also gonna take some of this out. It's really just the um, chicken fat. It just falls. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Okay. Now, I'm going to try and make sure that this gets mixed up. Really good. See, it's getting mixed up as I pour it in, so that's good. cook this up just for a few minutes. I want to start up a bit too. It looks really good. And then after this cooks for a couple minutes, I'm going to put the chicken back on top and then put it in to the oven for about, I don't know, 18 minutes it says 15 to 20 but or 18 to 20 but you know I don't have um full on thighs going on well I do but I'm not cooking full on thighs so I'll rephrase that and um I'm just gonna let this cook up a little bit Oopie. onion down you wanna get that onion super in? No, I don't think you are okay you don't want no fucking silly. Ouch. So I'm really kind of excited too because what this recipe calls for, I get to use my new zester and juicer. And that's always exciting for me. So, my juicer. Because these, um, these are going to be topped with some orange flavoring. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. So, oh, I keep on using onions, man. Okay, we're going to give that a few more minutes. And then we'll put it all in the oven. Okay, but anyway. So, when we're all done I'll be adding orange zest 
and orange juice and some peas and um, it sounds like it's going to be really good so um, let's let's go ahead and Okay. And on the great thing about the cast iron, I can do all this and put this in the oven. Just like this. That's the extra fun part. Okay. So now I'm going to take this. And put this in the oven. Okay. I'm going to let that cook for about 15 minutes. I'm going to turn that off for right now. I will need to turn it back on. But not just yet. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, clean my orange. Alright, clean my orange. And it says to zest it until it's about half a, te half a teaspoon, but I need a full teaspoon because I doubled my stuff. So... And what the citrus zest does is it's packed with essential oils, mm, which add tons of flavor without extra liquid or, or acid. So by adding both zest and juice in the recipe, you get to double the orange flavor. Sounds delicious to me. Sounds delicious to me. How about to you? And that looks like plenty. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to just like... <clears throat> leave that in there while I um, juice the orange juice into this because <clears throat> it is going to all oh, how weird oh there it is I'm like where did my knife go so it's going to all go into the same thing it doesn't have to be added separately so I'm just going to zest it in there or juice it into the zest because they're going to be used together. Okay? Man, look how easy that is. Like, for real, man. Mm. Mm. So, this nicely collects the pulp and cleans out the orange. And there you have it. There you have it. Now that one's empty too. And then I might just squish that up. It's going to be sitting here for a minute so it's going to drain a little bit more. But it all catches it nicely under there. And I'm going to be using that when it's all done. So, once the chicken is done, what we're going to do is add this um, zest and juice to the vegetables and chicken. Um, and then we are going to also add some peas, stir it all up. So I'll probably just take the chicken out, um, and stir it all up and, um, and then simmer it on high heat for two to three minutes and then we're done. So I'll come back and let you see what that's all about. 
Okay, so we're back, part two, and I am going to take my uh, food out of the oven. Okay, I did end up turning it back up to 425, just because the, potato, the potatoes were being a little stubborn, but now they seem good to me. I am going to grab a knife to check my chicken. Like, is is chicken breast so, and it's relatively small, so it should be good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Remember the zest is in there too. We're gonna pour this on top. We are going to stir it up a bit and um, let it simmer for a minute or two. And then we'll be ready to serve. It smells really, really good. Um, it's a really uh, good looking and simple, honestly, um, one pot meal to make. There's some of the juices still in here from the potatoes and the chicken. So that's nice. And then the added orange. So we're going to let this simmer for a, a bit. Just a couple minutes. It hasn't come to a simmer yet. But again, the pot is, is um, or the pan, is pretty hot. So we're going to let that stir it up pretty good. And let that simmer. It'll thicken a little because of the orange juice. And um, see it's boiling up a little bit. And I just have to take a little taste. It's pretty hot. I'm gonna let it do its thing for the next two minutes. Um, and just pop it on the table just like that. 